Okay, so today's lesson is about um, something that I've learned over the over the years um, that I consider the worst drill in golf. And you know, it's a big world out there, so I know a lot of you players are, or teachers. <clears throat> if you're teachers, I'm sure you've coached this. I'm guilty of coaching this. It's one of the things I was taught when I was a kid when I started teaching this game. Um, looks good on paper, not so much in actual reality. And I'm sure as a player. Um, if you've been around the block and you've seen a, um, a lot of videos and so forth and has instruction, you've probably heard and seen about this drill. And it's very important because it's still out there, live and well today, uh, and the results are still the same. The results are, are uh, not much of anything to brag about or write home about. And I want to show you how to, uh, what the drill actually is and then how to correct it. I don't want to just go in and, and slam the drill. Um, and I don't want to go in and just leave you hanging either. I want you to understand um, if you're doing the drill, how to change it around, make it work for you, and so so forth. It's one of the. It's definitely in the top five most popular drills, and since the last probably 20, 30 years um, in golf instruction. So, what is that drill? The drill is the pump drill. Okay, so the pump drill is you take your your normal stance, and here's how it's typically taught. Now there's a lot of variations and so forth, and um, not here to offend any coaches or, or any students as well, but I'm just going to show you the, the one variation that you would see the most often. So <clears throat> when you go back to the top of your backswing, it would tell you to hold the club. And then from here, what you would try to do is try to tug one, two, and then you would swing through and three. <clears throat> and the problem with that is without understanding true energy of the, what you're dealing with with the with the entire club, but you have two components, two timing components that you have to, to deal with in the golf swing that trump everything. That's the handle of the club and the sweet spot. And you can say the whole club head, whatever you need to do, but the sweet spot and the handle club, that's what, uh, that's what, that's what you're dealing with. What happens is you have to think about, if you want to deal with energy, you need to think of, because like, you know, energy you're dealing with flow, okay? Um, you need to think of the shaft like it's full, like probably halfway full of water, okay? Not just this stiff rod. Sometimes it's an illusion. We see this stiff shaft and we don't realize that it has some bending and, and extension and all these things and it's it's going through motion uh, just literally like energy. It's, so it, it, and it is energy. It's, it's something that has, you have to think that it has water in it to truly understand what the function and the design of this is, okay? So when we go, when we do this, this pump drill, when we go one, two, and three. What's happening is the club is shooting away. Even though you're trying to pull and tug in lag, the club head is wanting to go that way every time you do it. So the, the, if you think of this, if we do this slow motion, we tug like this, this water, if it's neutral in the middle of the shaft, goes right to the handle. And as soon as it stops at the handle, it goes straight to the head, way before the release point, okay? And in a perfect in Nick case scenario what we want to see happen is as we unwind and we're going in the ball this club is go the, the energy is slowly going through even though I mean you were talking it's a split second but what happens is it goes from the handle into the head and that energy is way out here in front of you out in this area if we're practicing pumping this many things are happening besides the shaft look at your body it just locks up it, there's no movement so now our center point it wants to it wants to hit back here where our chest is pointing, back here. And and then if you don't want to do that, then what happens is you flip the crap out of it. Because the energy, you can't handle this much energy going back and forth. It's just like water, it's just going like this. Okay? And so <clears throat> it's a drill you don't see much of on the PJ Tour anymore. Uh, I don't see it really at all. Now what you'll see is a, a, a gentle version of the pump drill which is a whole lot different ball game, okay? It's very, very different. So you don't want to get into trying to pump this and all this because the body locks up, it stiffens up to try to stabilize this releasing and this, this craziness going on with the head of the club. And then again, you don't want to do it because the number one thing you have to tr control in golf is the swinging of the club. You, how is this a swing? You know, think about that. It's a pump drill. There's no flow to it and so forth. And so, the, the version you would see actually on the PJ Tour now, where you'll see some players that do this, is they, 
they gently move the club wide away from them like this and they'll move it down into kind of like this area and then they'll hold it and then they would just and they're very relaxed when they do it they're not driving this club down they're not going like this and squeezing on it with both hands they're really relaxed and they're just letting it push away and it's wide letting the club head get away from them wide and then momentum would carry them through release because you do not want you know i can't express this enough if your left hand is trying to turn down before you hit the ball, if your right hand is trying to turn down or they're trying to push out before you hit the ball or trying to flick uh, before you hit the ball, you will not be a good player. This club is gradually increasing momentum and you really don't feel, it just, it run, what we call it, it kind of runs away from us as it's pivoting back, as it's hit the ball and going to the left. This, you're not, there's no force in the back, there's no force in the lead hand. The club's just pivoting and it's moving forward and passing and to after it's hit the ball to the left but there's no pressure and we don't want to see the club try to strike even right here we want to see softness through the shaft even through this area this is very soft it's very long and then that'll allow momentum to continue so when you're under pressure you don't have to deal with with trying to punch at the ball or hold on to the uh, club with the left hand through the ball and so forth if that makes sense we want this softness and so that's the variation now this drill right here I'm not advocating doing even this drill okay uh, it, it, it as well so <clears throat> but the pump drill is by far and away uh, it's 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 the worst drill out there on the market it's still out there it's still alive and well today it looks cool on paper you would see on video you would see you'd see this club start to move a player that doesn't that doesn't have any what we consider lag or whatever you want to call it angle they would start to look on paper or I should say video they'd start to look like this a lot better what they're not seeing is they're all over the place this this flip that they had before now is three times as much and all you have to do if you're one of those players go out and just use common logic use your brain okay go out see how well you do when you're doing the pump drill and it's probably not going to be very good you're going to hit a lot of fat shots a lot of thin shots a lot of left shots a lot of right shots when you're trying to swing in your, in, your, in your swing, you're going to be trying to pump and jerk. Your body will stiffen up too soon. The club's going to release out of way too soon. You can't stabilize through impact. There's just so many things. But bottom line, just use your brain. Are you hitting it better or hitting it worse? And I can assure you, you're going to have one out of 100 that, 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 uh, that are going to say, yeah, you know, I'm, it's working pretty well for me. And they're probably doing the drill wrong. They're probably doing it more in a soft version, okay, like I was talking about before. So here's a uh, – here's a – this is not <laughs> – this is real, uh, this is not engineered real well, okay, because I designed it. So this is a towel with a, just a shaft that I popped out, popped the club head out, just an old shaft, and I've got a, a lot of duct tape wrapped around this towel at the end. And so um, what this is for is to help players truly understand the energy. And this isn't, this is the best that I have right now. I'm looking for something that's a little better quality, not necessarily quality, but it's not as kind of uh, flappy uh, on the downswing. But this is really, really, really good, and it helps people understand. And when they do this, when they swing this with this towel, they can really, truly feel the energy and the kind of the waving of the club and the softness, but also the stability through impact, okay? And so what this looks like, so if you do the, dra the this, this pump drill, I'm going to try to get where you can really see it here. If I get here, you can see if I'm here, this, when I pull down with this club, this shoots forward. This is this is pulling down and, and casting away. My body's locking up, and you can really see that versus club head. So if I'm going here, this is shooting. It's trying to shoot down in a way and get very narrow. Now, if I do this and I do this really softly and I do it properly, what would happen is when I go and I unwind, I'm moving this forward. You can see there's no violence in the in the either the handle this way you see the towels not going all over the place it's just neutral so that energy is staying for the most part right in the middle of the club and then all of a sudden as momentum comes through you're going to see this wicked uh, strike and that's how you should train because if I'm training I can certainly train like this and it clubs bouncing all over me and it's it, the energy is everywhere but watch this if I keep it away from me you know so if I go here keep it away from me you're going to see all this retention especially if you can slow mow that back and and pause it 
you'll start seeing a tremendous amount of, of angle and width and power. And I'm only thing I'm doing is I'm moving this away from me, this right hand away from me, forward, and I'm trying to get the towel, I'm not casting it here, I'm certainly not doing that, I'm trying to keep this neutral and move the whole thing forward, and, and I'm using my whole body into a circle here, right? Not spinning, just a small little circle, and then there's the whip and the momentum. Okay? Here's what it would look like incorrect. And I see that a lot of times because a lot of players are, uh, and coaches as well, are guilty of this. And, and I used to be in the past, you know, 20 years ago or so, where we would try to really try to create this superficial wrist action. And you can see what the towel's doing. It's bouncing all over the place. That's your club head and the energy. There's no stabilization in the body, just kind of sloppy and doing all this stuff, okay? So what you want, the modern swing is a little more stabilization up here, and there's obviously more width and stability coming here. Now, we don't confuse width with casting. Width is maintaining what you have as your body's circling into impact, okay? There's a huge difference. So we're not casting and moving this way. There's a coordination as you're here, and you'll feel it when you do this exercise. There's a softness, and this towel is moving away but it's also moving forward through the shot. As I get here, the resistance of this towel is making my core stiffen naturally. I'm not trying to, it's just naturally doing it. I mean, this is a true core exercise. When I go here and I'm slow, you can see when I'm going through here, there's resistance of this towel going this way, okay? So even though I'm pushing it away, it's working like a parachute for the most part going this way, so it's creating strength stability of the left hand and then and then forward momentum of the right hand to make that continue to move this would be incorrect you can see that the, the towel the energy of the towel is back here versus when we circle and push it forward you can see this is moving right through the shot and that creates a tremendous amount of power without much effort okay and so this is a towel drill it's a really simple tie just any kind of bath towel up to this. Uh, I've got it tied right below the center of the shaft and just duct tape it up together. Now, a lot of questions, um, I've heard this before on the range where I show, the, show this exercise. And they say, what about the power fan? Power fan does not do anything like this. You don't see the energy with the power fan. All you get is resistance and pull and these kind of an upper higher handle and you don't get a true release. The great thing about this towel is it's, it's got freedom. So this is not like the power fan. The power fan, if you have one of those, that will not work what I'm showing you. you want, I want the, the inner, like I, always, I like to say this quite a bit, is I, energy does not like to be controlled, okay? It wants to flow. There's times where it accumulates, but it wants to get out of there and it wants to flow. And the, in the power fan and these fans and all that stuff with your swing and all this, that all they're doing is creating, they're not creating flow, they're creating resistance. And there's some uh, muscular building that you can get it from the left side, but from a functional standpoint, how you swing the club, it's not going to be there for you. There's a massive difference. And uh, I'm not trying to create a training aid out of this or anything like this. I just want you to, you, you literally, if you can just pop an old shaft out, use this, it's just, it, it probably costs you at best 15 to 20 bucks to, to build one of these yourself. And, and you, you've got one of the best training. And now I use it to warm up because when you do this, when you, one, if you swing it properly, you're going to hit it better. And two, it creates a tremendous warm up. But if you look at what it's doing functionally, now you have to be using it right. You can't be doing the pump drill or just swinging it like this. So if you use it properly, you can really start to benefit and um, and get not only a stretch, and, and but you'll also get the momentum and you'll get a lot of strengthening of the core. So many good things, but you'll most importantly get away from that that uh, all this this pumping and all this stiffness and stuff. You want to truly swing the club. You can see it when I'm here. I can feel that. I can feel by doing that, just that exercise, that everything's just 
coming in nice and soft. I'm not trying to here or there, any of that. Everything is in time with what I'm trying to do. So anyway, I hope that really helps you. Take the time to build one of those. And uh, if you have any questions, just email me at EliteGolfing at gmail.com. Go to our website, EliteGolfPerformance.net. And uh, we'll go from there. But best of luck, fellas.